Hi, uh, Scritty here from Six Cricket, which is a website I haven't really even started yet, and I've owned the domain for God, God knows how many years. Uh, before that, I had Cricket Stats, I didn't use that domain either. And this is the reason why I came across a fantastic resource called cricksheet.org, an absolutely brilliant website where the um, owners and the curators, curators put together a ball by ball analysis of just about every cricket match that's played around the world at a competitive level or a professional level. That's male and female cricket, that's test matches, ODIs, T20s, all internationals, uh, well, nearly all internationals, uh, almost all the um, domestic ones as well. Um, for instance, I'm just going to have a look at this is match data. This is every ball that's ever been bowled in the IPL from 2008 to the end of the 2022 season. It's close on a quarter of a million balls. It's 210 odd thousand. It's going to be a quarter of a million balls um, either this season or next. Um, and my interest has always been on the story that stats can tell if we interrogate them at a, a more granular level. Um, the Broadcasters are very good at giving us the headlines, the averages, the strike rates and things like that. The, the, the average for wickets, the average runs, the strike rates for batsman scores, the strike rate for taking wickets, the economy for a bowler. And then they'll pick out a few little choice morsels like, you know, if there's eight dot balls in a T20, then there's a much increased chance of a wicket in the ninth or tenth ball, that kind of stuff. Um, and how many, you know, if you lose three wickets in the first six overs of T20, then you're more likely to lose the game. But they are, those are just individual data points, and they don't really tell a story. They sort of, they're just a, an individual piece of information. And what you need to tell a story is the data that um, Cricksheet and their fantastic work enables us to do. So this is some spaghetti coding that I've done. It's in VBA, it's in Excel, it's not good, it's not quick, but it will step through the data I just showed you and recreate scorecards. The scorecards aren't exactly the same as the scorecards you get from uh, Crick Info. There's two main things at the moment I can think of that makes them different. It makes different. The first is that these are, the batting sides will be ordered in the order that they face a delivery or get out, not in the order that um, they are on the batting sheet. Now it's possible that a batsman, uh, say at number four, faces a ball before a batsman who's batting at number three. For example, in the first over, bat batsman one and two are batting, batsman one bats for five balls and he gets out bowled on the sixth. Batsman three comes out to replace him, but of course then he's at the non-striker's end for the second over because the bowler's swapped ends. And very early in the second over, the bowler gets the number two batsman out causing the number four batsman to come and replace the number two. Well, then the number four batsman is going to face the ball before the number three batsman. There's things like that. There's things like platinum ducks where a batsman is run out before they face a ball, which can be quite tricky um, to deal with as well. And there's also, there's a couple of other bits and bobs as well that make this ever so slightly different from um, a standard scorecard. But in terms of been able to step through it and see ball by ball the story that a game tells, uh, which is which is something I really wanted to do, and also to be recreate as many scorecards as I want very very quickly, without having to crash into uh, cr um, Crick Info and try and harvest them from there, because they do make their scorecards quite hard to harvest, um, and you can't step into them either. You can't you can't analyse the match ball by ball in them. Uh, not unless you use the commentary and try and pass all the language, the actual written English language that's in the commentary uh, section of Crick Info, which is not really so good for that, which is where Crick Sheet comes in and does a fantastic job. Now, I'm setting myself up to fail here. This is the fourth or fifth match in the IPL. I've tried it with the first four. The data it's come up with have been spot on. I know there's going to be some quirks at some point. The Platinum Duck might be a quirk. I'm not sure I've come across one yet. So I think this might be the fourth match in the IPL of 2008 there you go and what it just did there those flashing lights were it collating going and fetching the data from that sheet and recreating the scorecard um, it was it the fourth match of the IPL it was Mumbai Indians versus RCB at the Vankity Stadium on April the 20th 2008 it was actually the fifth match 
so I've done four this is the fifth one and is it right well let's have a look Ronke caught Zach Carr uh, we don't know who caught it but off the bottom of Zach Carr for eight uh, South Jars Rear run out 29 Thornley retired hurt naught Robin Utaper stumped uh, 48 uh, Shah 19 both those going to our kill Naya going to Kumar for 20 Pollock going for Khan again for 28 and Harbour Singh not out two so here is I'll just get it up um, 829 naught 4819 2028 829 naught 4819 2028 oh I'm two sorry two for Harbour Jan and wickets were Khan oh the run out was Khan but we didn't know that retired hurt Akin Akil Kumar Khan so Khan, Aki, Aki, Kumar Khan. Okay, so this looks absolutely bang on. Let's just check the bowling as well. So Pravi Kumar, um, uh, four overs, uh, no maidens, one for uh, 29. Zahir Khan, two for 17, two for 17. Nought for 43 for Jacques Callis. Nought for 41, according to this, for Vinay Kumar. Um, a kill taking uh, two for 17 and Joshi naught for 10. I'll just bring those up so you can see. There we are. So this is this is quick info, ESPN quick info. So the data on this case, this is the fifth test I've done in a row, has been recreated accurately as of the result, etc. Uh, although you think, well, what's the point of that? Well, the point is it's recreated ball by ball. So while I pressed the button here to pass the whole match as quickly as possible and it did it in a couple of seconds I didn't turn screen mirroring off as you probably notice apologies to anybody who didn't enjoy that I can it's very easy to do it ball by ball I just have to put a pause and in the code stop after you know it, it's a it's a four and and next statement and so I just have to put a little pause press a button to continue at the end before the next statement at the end of the of the procedure so it's very very simple to do that and we, you can then interrogate a match as back as it was played. You can also see the flow because there are some other statistics. As you probably know, I did an MVP, or any, anybody that's seen my channel before knows I've done MVP before and match flow before and things like that. So we'll be able to see the match flow as it goes on from historical matches, not just the scorecard. Um, we'll be able to see and then compare it to current matches, which is something I want to do. The MVP is something I want to do. Batting consistency is something I want to do. Um, the efficacy of taking early wickets against conceding runs. Um, the high strike rate against the risk of losing wickets. Uh, the impact uh, of the first six overs, the middle nine overs, the last five overs in T20 games. Similar, similar things in ODIs. Uh, the totally different metrics in test matches where uh, wickets are the primary currency rather than runs and, and things like that. So there's a whole area of I mean, this probably, I've probably got about 15 or 20 derived stats, which I would personally find interesting, which this is going to allow me to interrogate and, and dig out. Um, I don't intend on making the code I've written um, widely available, mainly because I don't want to support it. Uh, I've got no, and I don't have time to support it. I have a full-time job. This is just a hobby I do on the side. But I will make the data available when it's appropriate to do so. So if I if I collate a lot of data and, and get tables and things, I will make those available uh, when the opportunity comes. I may be alone in being the only person that's passionate about this. Um, I shall probably start a YouTube channel in time with this year's IPL in about 10 days anyway, even if it's just me, um, because this is something that's really interested me. It's something I wanted to do for years. A little bit disappointing actually when I actually came to code it and I'm not a particularly good coder I haven't coded for quite a few years I actually managed to do it in about four or five hours I, I was thinking of putting, putting aside a few days but it wasn't that hard to get to the state I've got to now I do know there's going to be some quirks um, things like the substitutes they have in there now um, uh, field and restrictions I want to be able to get in there uh, I'm not sure how it handles platinum ducks you know some uh, batsmen run out before they've even appeared on the scorecard not 100% certain but you know we'll I'll, I'll get around that um, we'll sort that out um, at the moment say I've tried it I've tried five matches and it, it's done it all just fine and if I've got to fiddle the odd one here or there and do a bit of manual tinkering for the freaky match where something untoward happens then um, 
or code around it. it might take a few more minutes to do that uh, as you can see down here I've actually doing all sorts of bits and bobs already bowler stats bat stats um, got match list this is all the matches from the IPL all sorts of other bits and bobs going on there lots of sheets that I call other bits and bobs just to um, just for space for Excel to do its work really um, converting this to Python as well is also something I'm quite keen on doing at some point um, you know this is this is just a hobby of mine please take it with a pinch of salt I'm not claiming this is in I'm, I'm setting this up to be any sort of definitive thing anything that's canon my ideas are just my ideas it's a take them or leave them situation um, I'm doing it because it interests me if it interests other people that's great if it doesn't fine if, you, if, if it doesn't interest you at all that's fine if you want to do your own thing and disagree with everything I'm doing that's absolutely fine as well the more people in this sphere the better um, it strikes me because I'm a, I also love baseball that um, cricket potentially produces just as many derived stats as baseball but the public who watch cricket are introduced to virtually none of them they all exist there's an equivalent cricket stat for every baseball stat out there and if you've seen how many stats a baseball player can create and how they're interested in how they're used to make decisions and tell the story of the game or tell the story of that player or a career or of a tournament or of a year it's enormous um, and as cricket fans we get it, it's it's not 10 percent it's, it's probably not five percent of what baseball fans get and yet all the base data is there to create those derived stats we just don't tend to use them or we just get one little data point to, to make a point rather than the whole set which tells a story I'd rather tell a story than make a point um, I think the narrative of a career the narrative of a tournament the narrative of the game of cricket which I love is far more interesting than the fact that Graham Goot scored 333 runs against India in uh, 1991 and then followed it up with 100 odd in the second innings I know that but it doesn't it, it, it tells me about a couple of days in Graham Gooch's life it doesn't tell me about his career or the history of England India test matches or whatever which I would find far more interesting so I have rambled on here for over 12 minutes if you find that interesting if you think what I've said here would be interesting please follow subscribe and comment um, this I'm going to survive on people's comments here uh, I've got quite a few ideas but I've reached the stage now I've got over such a big hurdle in getting to this point that running through and getting I know how I'm going to create the MVP I know I'm going to measure I know exactly how I'm going to measure consistency for batting and bowling and <clears throat> with a fantastic uh, resource that Cricksheet have given me I know I can pile through those relatively quickly but I'm really interested to know what you guys want analysed and, and what's important and who you'd like to compare careers against and, and what stories you know you'd like to be told this isn't going to be graphically interesting uh, I have no idea how any of the Adobe suite works in terms of preparing lovely graphics for these videos it's going to be numbers and data um, but you know I'm telling you up front that's what you're going to get um, anyway hope the few of you that find this interesting find this interesting have a great evening and let's look forward to the 2023 IPL it starts as I write this in about nine days time I cannot wait thanks everybody take care bye bye